everyone, it's Paulina. Last summer, my dad and I went to Poland for about a month. We visited friends and family and did a bunch of amazing things. Honestly, I already miss every single moment of it, but I do have a lot of footage, so I decided to put it all together, edit it, and make this video. Flying from the US to Poland is about a nine hour flight, so we boarded our airplane at around 9 p.m. and then enjoyed our flight. In our case, we also had a departure in Frankfurt, so this was one of two flights. We were able to see the city kind of at night, and then eventually we were given some good food. I had rice and chicken, and then my dad got some sort of pasta meal we got to choose from that. I slept for a bit and then before I knew it it was daylight outside which meant that it was time for our second flight which was a connecting one from Munich to Wrocław. Our second flight was only about two hours and then eventually we landed in Poland. It was nighttime so I woke up the next morning to our first day in Wrocław. With the time change and all, I woke up super early so I made myself some oats as like a first breakfast and waited for everyone else to wake up. At around 8, we took my cousin's dog for a walk and headed out to a bakery where we had our actual breakfast. And if you know anything about European bakeries, you know that everything is always super fresh, straight out of the oven. On our first morning, we had these delicious sandwiches on whole grain bread. After breakfast, we took the long way back just to enjoy the buildings and our first morning in Poland. And then when we got back home, we dropped off the dog, which actually his name is Snoopy. He was my best bud throughout the whole trip. I always enjoyed waking up to him and just kind of giving him cuddles because he was always there right at my door. Our goal for the first day was to visit the market and main square of Wrocław, so that's what we did next. On our way there, we walked along the Oder River, which was a really pretty walkway near my grandma's house. We saw some monuments and then these little gnomes that are all around the city. After about a 20 minute walk, we got to the first market hall, which at first was closed, but we waited for a bit and got inside. At this market, you can find fresh fruits and vegetables grown by local sellers, and it's nice because it's kind of like a everyone knows everyone world. If you're ever in Wrocław or Poland in general, I highly recommend trying poziomki berries. They're kind of like a raspberry-strawberry hybrid. Super sweet, super delicious. My dad got to try some of his favorite childhood candy, which I enjoyed as well. Next up was Main Square, so we headed out for that. On the way, there were more pretty buildings because that's basically all Europe is. <laughs> We passed by this garden and then eventually got to the entrance of Main Square. We're pretty familiar with the area, but every time we go back, we're just amazed at how many little new restaurants and shops are popping up because it's such a nice touristy area for anyone who'd like to visit. The colorful buildings of Old Town are probably my favorite thing to come back to. They always give me a sense of my childhood because I would spend my time here basically since the moment I could walk. In the center of it all, there's a pretty fountain where people throw in pennies and coins for good luck. We continued to walk around for a bit and then it started to rain or drizzle, which was actually pretty pleasant because it was not too heavy of rain. We visited some of our favorite restaurants and then headed back to my grandma's. This is one of the oldest pubs in all of Europe almost. The fascinating thing about Europe is that there's a lot of old and new ideas combined. You can see this with the architecture and just culture in general because it's crazy how you can see all of these new 21st century things mixed with cultural items that have probably been there for thousands of years. To my surprise, I was able to meet up with a friend from Chicago, which is crazy because I would have never guessed that she would be walking down the same street that my grandma lived on.
That afternoon, we just kind of spent the rest of the day hanging out with family, so I visited a man-made beach with my cousins, and then we went on this zipline car sort of thing. I believe it's called a gondola lift, and this is made for university students that have to get from one side of the river to the other. It was a super pretty view and definitely something to visit or do if you ever go to Wrocław. We got off on the other side of the river of course and then walked back to my grandma's house right after stopping by this cute little antique shop. The next morning I opened up the balcony to another amazing view and day two in Poland. The plan for today is I think we're going to church and then my other grandma's house for dinner so I'm really excited. It's nice and sunny, I'm gonna wake up, get ready. On day two, I spent the night at my other grandparents' house, so in the morning, I just dropped off a few things, said hello to their dog, and then went back to my cousins to do some shopping. The best malls to shop near Wrocław are probably Magnolia Park and the Dominican Gallery, which I went to on day two. They have a lot of good eating options as well as just really nice stores. I specifically remember coming back to a store called Pull and Bear super often. I just really liked their store and their dressing rooms were really cute too, so I think that's what got to me is just seeing the cute dressing rooms when I tried on my first shirt. That night, I also filmed a quick sideline routine for my dance team back at home because we were getting ready for football season. Right now we are at the man-made beach a few blocks down from my grandma's so there's a little walkway and little wooden docks that you can sit on. There's these electrical boats that swim by every once in a while. They're super quiet, you can't hear them. I don't think there's one going now, but there's these little glass pods zip line across the river. Volleyball courts over there. Later I'm going to my other grandma's house. We'll do some more fun things there as well. There's a river cruise boat as well. In the Jet skis already flew by. This is the building where my dad used to fence when he was younger, so we're gonna uh, go inside. Came from the beach, which is that way, and the river goes all the way down. We're walking by and they're filming like a movie or something over there, and we're thinking it's one of those police shows because there's a car. Twenty minutes and then I think we're gonna go to their little gardens. It's about a 20 minute walk to my other grandma's house so that's where we headed off to next. This is where I dropped off my things in the morning and when we got there they had a room ready for me and of course a big supper because European families are always feeding you. Later that night, I played with their dog for a bit and then just put on some TV shows to fall asleep to. So in this clip, I'm watching a Polish drama kind of police series that I'm obsessed with. Good morning, it's day five here. We're gonna go get my hair done because we spontaneously planned a visit at the hair salon. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully I still have hair on my head once we're done, but yeah, I'll update you guys after that.
My hair turned out quite nicely even though you can't really see it in this video but after that we just took the dog out for a walk to the park. He was super happy to have a guest staying over and afterwards my grandma and I headed over to their gardens which is honestly one of the most peaceful and happiest places in Europe whenever I come home and visit. How garden plots work in Wrocław is you buy a large plot of land and then typically people use that for growing fresh fruit or veggies. You usually have like a little house or hut on the property so my grandparents have this one that's been here for probably over 20 years and it's a nice place to just cool off and store all their materials. When I got back to my dad that night, we went out to the mall to go grocery shopping. This was in preparations for our next stop, which was the city of Kraków or Krakow. We are at my grandma's garden right now. It's beautiful here. Um, the sun's out every once in a while. They have fresh fruit and vegetables growing everywhere. Definitely trying a lot of that right now. I just found these berries. It's called Pojomka here. Behind me is the little house that they have. There's a hut. Um, where they usually have like dinner and things like that when it's hot out. There's a lot of pretty flowers. They have a grill over here, which is really cool. My grandpa also built it himself and yeah. Fresh flowers are a must for my family. So my grandma and I picked out some good ones and then made bouquets for their house and then just for me to give out to family as I visited in the next days. As we were walking by, we saw these wild kittens, which were super cute. They always come back for food from their neighbors. When I got back to my dad that night, we went out to the mall to go grocery shopping. This was in preparations for our next stop, which was the city of Kraków or Krakow. We're at the supermarket right now. The aisles here are a little different. They have a huge selection of literally everything. Here's ketchup continued right behind me so yeah definitely different than in America. The deli here is huge. It goes all the way down there too. The cereal here is in little bags. They don't box anything because they're very eco-friendly with that kind of stuff. Like I mentioned earlier their grocery stores were no different when it comes to fresh bread which was definitely a good plus because we were making our sandwiches the next morning and they held up for our trip. That concludes this week's video. If you guys want to see us travel to the city of Kraków, please be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that video, which is hopefully coming next week. This will be a multiple part series and I can't wait to upload the rest. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!